out, we're gonna get the acolyte Fabian Cortez. We're gonna get a Dark Avengers Moonstone. Many months later. Please do the honors. Dark Avengers Warbird, can you believe it? I don't wanna toot my own horn, but toot, toot. Hello there, gang, and welcome to another episode of Displaying Model Behavior, the Earth's mightiest video podcast. Now, today we're going to be talking about some of the new Marvel Legends leaks that your boy here, Dave, managed to get his grubby little mitts on. Now, normally I would say, ooh, I don't know about some of these, but honestly, they say history makes fools of us all, and normally in my case it does. But when it comes to the leaks, I've been pretty much spot on, and this is from the same source who told me about Fabian Cortez, who told me about other stuff that I got right. Dark Captain Marvel, that was the one. So I feel pretty confident about putting these out into the world. Want to hear about them? Here it goes. So we're going to kick things off with some X-Men related characters and some reissues or redos of existing figures. We're going to go to X-Factor and we're getting Polaris and Havoc. Probably a two-pack, it might just be a repaint or a zhuzhed up version of these two characters. I wouldn't have thought they would be an entirely new or different one, because 90s Havoc, it's pretty good what we have already. Plus we've got classic Havoc now and a slightly more modern one. So I don't know, maybe they might have new head sculpts, maybe pinless. Who's to say? But either way, we should be getting a new Polaris and Havoc. And to go with them, we're apparently going to be getting the Strong Guy Builder figure. He's going to be re-released as a deluxe. So just like they've done with various other characters like Venom Pool recently, we're going to be re-establishing our classic 90s X Factor team. So for people who were late to the party originally, this is a good chance to catch up. And speaking of Builder figures, we are apparently going to be seeing a new Super Scroll as well, or the same Builder figure Super Scroll released as a deluxe figure. For me personally, I would like a new version of Super Scroll because the Builder figure was okay, but he was kind of basic as well. I, I want more of a crazy, stretching powers, more elaborate looking Super Scroll. Maybe they might go in the direction of some of the ones that they had during Secret Invasion, considering that we have have got the two-pack Secret Invasion with that more Roydy Magoo looking Super Scroll. They could have some fun with this or go the classic route. Either way, I'm kind of interested to see what this is going to look like. And then over in the Spider-Man side of things, and this is something that I'm not too sure about. It says that we're going to be getting a retro-carded Mysterio, which we already have. So maybe it's going to be an animated style retro Mysterio? That could make sense because the animated costume does look quite different from the comic book one and that retro comic book Mysterio, ah, oh, one of my favorites. So if they're going to go more animated, that would make sense for an update to the character. If it's just another 616 figure, then I can't see that happening because the one we've got, he's already a banger. Now this is a full wave that I'm very excited to talk about. We saw Rom Space Knight was revealed, at least the render of him was a little while ago. Well, he's going to be part of a full-on wave. This gets the blood pumping. So first of all, finally, we're getting a new Dakin. I spoke about this in the previous leaks video, so seeing this reiterated does lead me to think that this is going to be legit. So that's really, really good to hear. Then following Dakin, we're getting a new Iron Man, which speculation leads me to believe is probably going to be the ultimate Iron Man. And that's a really cool armor. We've had a few different versions of it, like in the long, long ago. One from Toy Biz, one from Select, but a brand new Marvel Legend, I, I really dig the look. The unique kind of helmet design, I think that's pretty cool. Then we're going to be getting classic Adam Warlock. Proper Infinity Saga, old school Adam Warlock, who we've been waiting for for a long time. Because we've had a more modern version, but this... This is the one that a lot of people have really been after. Then on top of that, we're going to get a new 616 Miles Morales. And when I first thought about this, I was like, do we need a new 616? But then to be fair, the most recent one is from the Sony Spider-Man game. But he fits in perfectly well with your 616 characters and he is fantastic. Great, great action figure. But maybe they want to go full on more comic book classic style. So again, Miles is very popular. 
That'll make a lot of people happy. Now this is a cool one. We're getting, I forget his name, but I'll put it below here. But the Spider God, Dark Avengers Spider-Man. Because there were two iterations of the Dark Avengers. There was the initial Dark Reign one, and then there was an updated team. And Matt Gargan was replaced with this uh, like Mayan Incan Spider-God guy who actually has six arms, which is a perfect way to reuse the six-armed Spider-Man that they redid for the Morbius 2-pack. So that would be a really clever reuse of that mold. I can totally see that happening. Then after him, we're going to be getting... Who is that? Oh, Werewolf by Night. I was just glancing at my notes there. I was like, who's that doggy wolfy person? Werewolf by Night. So that's another one. Should hopefully make a lot of people with the Ookie Spooky collection quite happy. Now give us Dracula and Frankenstein, the Marvel zombie. Recreate that old Toy Biz 4-pack. That would be awesome to see. After him, we're going to be getting... Now this is interesting. We're going to be getting Carol Danvers, apparently in her... What's it called? Uh, Huntress guys. I'm not even familiar with this. I didn't know that Carol Danvers had a Huntress look. So, quick addendum, I just realized when I was editing this that Huntress Carol Danvers is literally the Huntress and Carol Danvers from the Amalgam comics, which is never going to happen. So I don't know where that came from, but I guess it will be maybe some other Carol Danvers. But yeah, definitely not Amalgam. Uh, ignore Dave. He doesn't know what he's talking about, or at least he didn't back then. I just I think of Huntress, I think of the DC Batman character, but that's, again, not 100%. That's a little bit more speculative, but time will tell. And as I said in the intro, probably make a fool out of me, even though I usually do that myself. And then finally, we are getting Rom Space Knight. So hopefully there will be a big, badass, awesome builder figure in this wave. No idea what that might be, but let the speculation begin. Now we're going to be getting a couple of cosmic styled two packs. This is again, I'm, I'm using, I'm overusing the word interesting, but it is interesting. So we should get a two pack of Champion and the Magus, which makes perfect sense. If we're going to be getting Adam Warlock, we might as well get his evil doppelganger counterpart. I have no idea who Champion is. I had to look up the name of that dude, but he looks like he might be a big, chunky, fun, bright colored, wacky looking character. And I love those. So that'll be one two pack. And then also for the good guy side of the Cosmic Stable, we're going to be getting Black Bolt and Triton in a two pack as well. And once again, makes perfect sense. We just got Crystal with Lockjaw. We all, we all have, we all, I don't know, do we? Some of us have the old Black Bolt figure and he's good. He's decent, but he does need an update. So a new Black Bolt along with Triton. That'll be great as well. So more cosmic characters for you intergalactic collectors. Folks, this episode is sponsored by Legends First. You know Legends First by now, the one-stop shop for cataloging and curating your action figure collection. But I want to tell you about another use that I've recently had for it. I wanted to make a list of the top 100 most wanted Incredible Hulk figures, but how am I going to do that without knowing what figures are already out there? So all I had to do was type in Hulk to Legends First, and it gave me the full list, not only of Marvel Legends, but of Marvel Select figures and various other ones as well that were all Incredible Hulk or Incredible Hulk adjacent. And I was like, this, this is why this tool is so, so useful. And that's like one of the free things. You don't need a membership or anything. You just go and use it as a database and a catalog for all these figures that have come out over literally decades. So doing a live stream recently, I had so much fun going through there. We were making a note of all the different Hulk characters we had, which one needed upgrades. And then of course we could make a list of all the ones that we still need. So Legends Verse, for me at least, an absolutely invaluable tool, and I think you'll find it useful as well. Just like me, an invaluable tool. <laughs> so guys, go check out Legends Verse. You'll be glad you did, and when you do, tell them Model Behavior sent you. And they'll probably be like, ugh, that guy. And wrapping things up for this set of leaks or reveal, no, not reveals, <laughs> definitely not reveals. Speculative leaks is the most generous thing to call them. We're getting our X-Men 97 figures, which is no surprise. Hasbro did announce that they are gonna be moving on for more of these. So we're gonna get a full retro carded wave. Who's gonna be in that? 
take your pick. Who don't we have yet? Cable is a great choice. Other ones escape me. Maybe Bastion. Oh, but you'd want Bastion to be a deluxe, wouldn't you? No word on that, but that would be awesome to see. So we're going to get a full wave, but we can do a fun little speculative video on that later. We're also going to get two two packs, apparently. One is going to be Wolverine and Storm. The other one is going to be Cyclops and Phoenix, Jean Grey. So I'm guessing Wolverine will be in his brown costume and Storm may be in her more punky, non-X-Men type look. That would make sense. That would be fun. And then Cyclops and Jean, I'm guessing they're alternate costumes from the end of the show when Cyclops is in, well, when they're both in their Dark Phoenix saga costumes. That would also make sense. And then finally, we're going to get two deluxe figures, one of Storm and one of Professor X. So Storm, we would have had a few X-Men 97 Storms now because we had her in the first wave. Then we're getting a two pack with Wolverine and now apparently a deluxe as well. So maybe just a whole bunch of wind, lightning accessories. I don't know. And then also Professor X, which being a deluxe, well, that speaks for itself. Just like the Riders Wave Professor X, big old hover chair, maybe in his green suit. I, he was wearing the green suit in the show, wasn't he? I'm trying to cast my mind back. I can't picture him. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's it. Take it for what you will. I've had a pretty good track record with my sources, with, with the leaks. They've come to fruition. This feels a little bit more speculative, but ah, it's fun to get tongues wagging, isn't it? So guys, what do you think about these reveals? Comment below. Let me know. And if you like what you see here and you want to see more, then you know what you got to do. You got to join the 6-1 Clicks by clicking the like, share, and subscribe buttons. So gang, let me shift over to the center. That's better. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, keep displaying model behavior.